Good morning, Inform Beauties. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm excited today because we have another Vanity Planet uh, skincare tool review, and I'm so excited to try this. Um, when they reached out to me, I was like, yes, 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 yes. If you don't remember or if you missed it, I did review the Essia, um wand a few months ago and I fell in love with that thing still have it till today still use it till today it is a great tool to have but today we are going to be reviewing the exforia and the exforia is a personal microbration wand um we're gonna of course get into what is all in the contents of this box we're gonna get into how to use it and my afterthoughts but with the exforia it says it promotes radiant glowing skin clears away dead cells and impurities reduces fine line wrinkles um it has four different heads which we're going to get into as well and pretty much what it does is to help in inflammation evens your skin tone undo fine lines makes the most out of your skincare guided exfoliation which i like and you guys see that later on in the video and it's perfect for all skin types okay now I do have a coupon code for you guys. Oh, my skin is so oily. Sorry, you guys. I'm like a little bit oily, but anyways. I do have a coupon code for you guys for this product. I will leave the link here on the screen as down below so you guys can go and get your hands on the Exforia. So let's go ahead and jump into what the Exforia does, what it's all about, and yeah, I'm excited. Let's do this. Okay, you guys. So this is the Exfora Personal Micro Derivation Wand by Vanity Planet. I am so excited to try this product out. So let's open up the box and let's get into the contents and what this Micro Derivation Wand is all about. Okay, before we get started, I would like to make a correction. You're going to hear me call this device the Exforia, which is incorrect. It is Exfora. I don't know where the I came from. <laughs> Sorry about that, but the correct name of this product is Exfora. When opening up the box, you of course get the manual. Um, the manuals are always great because they tell you how to use the product, how to charge it. Um, warranty how to clean it all of that so it's always great to have a little information and this is the microdermabrasion wand very nice looking looks very easy to use and then under that okay, and along with that what also comes in the box is of course the charger and some little accessories um we'll get more into what these are for but I'm thinking this is to clean it. It's like a little scrubby thing. Uh oh, So this should be to clean the microdermabrasion wand. And then you have like these little, I don't even know what these are. But we'll get into it. I believe it goes to this though. It has to definitely go to the microdermabrasion wand. But they come with little accessories and the charger. And then comes the charger port. That's why I love Vanity Planet's um, products. They all, the little charger points are always nice, just like that. And it comes with three additional heads to use on the microdermabrasion wand, and we'll get all into these as well. So before we begin to use this Exfora, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it is decently charged. So we're gonna go ahead and take the stand and plug it into the outlet. One of the many things I do like a lot about um, Vanity Planet's tools is that they are chargeable and it makes it so much easier for you to use. A little charging battery sign that lets you know the device is charging. When the device is fully charged, um, the little battery light will appear full and it usually takes about three hours for this to fully charge when um the battery is low the charging indicator will flash on the led screen and it will also beep to let you know um that it is low or it's going to die 
Okay, so while this device is charging, let's get into um, the three heads and a few of these tools that we have here, just so that we know what we're working with a little bit more. So let's go ahead and jump into this manual. I really do like that the manual is so like helpful. This is gonna help you out a lot, especially if it's your first time using a microdermabrasion tool. It's very important that you read through these instructions and just get to know um, what it is that you are using and how to use it correctly. Now we're just gonna go through the um, the heads here so that we can get, you know, we can know what we're getting into before we get into it, okay? So these are the microdermabrasion um, connectors to this device here. And so the normal head, which is the one that is on there, the normal head is the standard size that's perfect for your cheeks, forehead, jaw, nose, and neck. And you can use it uh, once a week. So this is just your standard head, okay? So you can use it once a week, standard, everyone can use it for, for pretty much anything normal, you know. The next one is the massage head. So this is ideal for promoting blood circulation and collagen production. It can be used as often as you like. So the massage head is this one here. And as you can see, these come off of here and you will connect on another one, which I will show you when I use it. So this one here is the massage head. It's great for collagen production um, and also blood circulation, which is always great. Okay. The next one is the fine head, which is this one. And this one gets those hard to reach spots like around the nose and in between crevices and you can use this once a week. And that's great because sometimes like around the nose area you can have like build up. And the last one is the body head. So other parts of the body benefit from occasional microdermabrasion uses this head once a week. Various like your arms, legs, stomach, and back. Mm. So this is the body one. Arm, leg, stomach, and back. And you usually, I usually don't think of or see microdermabrasion being used on other parts of the body. I always just think face. So it's also great to always, to also have that option and to also try that out and see if that's something that works for um, me. So yeah, so those are the three heads that you can just take off of this one and to use for other parts of your face and body. And then All right, you guys. So now we are going to jump into using the microdermabrasion uh, Exforia, Exfora tool by Vanity Planet. Now we're gonna go with the instructions here. Now to prep, they recommend that they do, they do recommend using the Exforia at night. Um, currently it is like 10 o'clock, so I'm like in the morning, so I'm not using this at night but it's recommended to use it at night because um, it, because it helps the skin to heal and to be restorative so you won't have like anything like makeup on your face or anything like that but I'm going to use this and I'm not going to be applying makeup until a few hours later so I feel like it'll be fine um, you want to also make sure you wash your face before using this device my face is thoroughly cleaned and then um also, you want to test this out on your arm, which I did, to make sure that you don't have any sensitivity to this. Also, really quickly, it is also recommended that you shouldn't use this device if you have excessive acne, overly sensitive skin, cold sores, blisters, open wounds, fungal infections, or skin conditions like rosacea, um, seborrheic dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis, convex moles, herpes, inflammation, or redness you want to make sure that you are not using it if you have those skin conditions um especially we talk about acne a lot on this channel so overly if you have any major major breakouts don't use it to use this device or if you have any other skin conditions that were listed here it is not recommended to use this device okay besides that you are ready to go so i did test this out on my arm um when i first got it and i didn't have any reactions so that's good my skin did pretty well so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into this device. So like I said before, these little heads, hold on. These little heads are interchangeable. So you can take them off like so. It comes with a little filter, as you can see on the inside, but these little heads are interchangeable. So you can take them off just like that. You wanna just go with the normal, the standard that is on here. All right, so what you will do is that you will press the little middle button, which is going to turn it on. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little face on there. 
Um, and I like the fact that there's a face on there. It kind of just, you know, makes it easier to use. And so it does have an auto mode that we, sh that we are going to use. And the auto mode, it gives a timer for each section of your face that you are using this on. So this is for the cheeks, nose, jaw, forehead, temples, neck. Um, and then on here, there's a little timer. I think I said this for how long you use it in that mode, which is really nice. So for auto mode, and then here in the directions, it shows you how you would use it for each auto mode. So for example, level one, so we're gonna turn it on. So there's a little start button in the middle here. There's a little start button in the middle right here. You're gonna press it and you're gonna hear it begin to vibrate, right? So there are different levels of the suction. So this is level suction one. It's a very light suction, nothing too crazy. You can um, press upward here to take the suction up a level, level two. And it's a little bit more of a section on the skin, as you guys can see. And then you have level three. So you're gonna go up one more level where you're gonna see it really suction. And you can see here, it's going to really suction that skin, okay? So there are only three levels um, in, in the suction of this device. Now, to pause it, you just press the start button again, it's gonna pause it for you. Um, and then if you wanna turn it off, of course you can turn it off with the power button there, turn it back on, okay? So we're gonna keep it at level one, especially because I'm gonna end up applying makeup later on. And I really just wanna see how this device works out for me and my skin, I always play it safe. And so you're gonna start off with the cheeks. Now, the cheek area here, they're gonna, it's gonna be for a minute. So you're gonna gently move the device from the nose, um, from the nose outward. So you're gonna go just like this. And this is going to last for a minute. So we're gonna start it, level suction, suction level one. And you're gonna move it from cheeks on out, from nose out to cheek. Oh. Okay, level one suction. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so that hit a minute. Oh wait, pause, hold on. Okay, so that hit a minute and then when it hits the minute of you doing a section, it stops and it beeps. The section was way more intense than what I thought it was gonna be for level one. So I definitely recommend starting off with level one if you are a newbie at trying this. So now we're gonna move on to the nose section. Now it's going to move on to the chin. So, and also to you guys, on the little device here, it tells you what direction to go. So I don't even need the booklet. Here for chin, it says to go down. So I'm gonna press the start. And you're gonna go down on the chin. You guys can see I am already a little red. Um, I'm learning to pace myself with this device as well because you want to make sure you are pacing yourself. But now we're going to go ahead and do forehead and this is going to be for 30 seconds.
So a few more key things about this um, device is that it does have a manual mode that you can use for 10 minutes. So you would put it on manual mode at any suction so it won't do like an automatic cutoff or whatnot unless you pause it or anything like that. Um, so you definitely can use that for your body or your face. So now we're going to jump into how you would cleanse this after you use it. So Okay, so now that we have used the device, um, I want to jump into how to clean it because it's very important that you are cleaning your exforia, um, especially because it's going to be coming in contact with your skin. So it's simple. You're going to go ahead and you're just going to remove the head of the device. And on the inside, you will see that there is a filter. Um, so it says that you want to use either... You can use either um, rubbing alcohol or warm water to clean the surface and surrounding areas. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and use alcohol. It's just easier and I, you know, have a lot of it everywhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the rubbing alcohol and wipe down the device. And I also will put alcohol down the entire device. I think it's very important to make sure you are sanitizing your devices. And so after you do that, they also said that um, you want to go ahead and remove the filter. So it fell out. These little things right here are filters, okay? It um, fell out of the actual <laughs> device. Now, they don't say how often you should change out your filters. I'm kind of going off of each time you use it, you should clean it out. Um, also, too, they have a little brush, so you're supposed to, you know, take a little brush, you can take a little brush, and you can clean your device as well, like this with a little brush and some alcohol, just to make sure that it is clean. Um, but So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change out the filter here, and it also has these little rings, because there's a little black ring that comes on the side of it, so it also has where you can change the rings. So I do like the fact they do give you, like everything you need so we're going to go ahead and place a new filter in all right so now that we have a new filter in we can go ahead and reattach reattach the head and the head is really easy to just pop on just like so okay and that's how you would um make sure you sanitize clean the device and to make sure that it's ready for you to have um when you are going to use it the next round all right so, so i'm next back I'm with do... my final results on the exforia i First of all, I like this little device. I don't microdermabrasion a lot, or I don't think I ever microdermabrasion my skin. Um, I am gonna have to play around with this device to get a little bit more of a handle on how to uh, feel, feel comfortable applying pressure. I think when I was doing it in the demo, I wasn't really applying a lot of pressure because the suction the suction on level one surprised me, so I didn't really put a lot of pressure, but I noticed when I was doing my neck, when I applied pressure, it was an even suckage, if that's even a word, <laughs> on the skin. So I just have to play around with it so that when I'm doing it, it doesn't like come off of the skin. I'm trying to put it back on and angle it correctly. Um, but when I did it on my chin fluidly, I did see how much of a suction and what this bad boy can do. And I'm really, really excited and really can't wait to try the other heads for this and to see how it really does um, do well with my skin. The guided screen for you is amazing. Like I thought I was gonna have to use like the pamphlet to really get through it. I didn't have to. I just pretty much looked at the screen. It said next was chin, downward motion, and then it started the timer and you go. So I do like that this is a very guided tool so you don't have to figure out which way am I going what am I doing for how long this right here guides you through it all and that is a very important when it comes to using these tools because y'all if you're not careful with these tools if you're not using them the correct way you can have the reverse for your skin okay and we don't want that um I do like the fact that it comes with multiple heads I mean you get to use multiple heads for different things I like that and it's chargeable we talked about that I like the fact that it's chargeable and I don't know if I'm gonna ever try it on the other suctions because uh, suction one was like whoa hold on it kind of shocked me but maybe in the past in the but maybe in the future I will give the other ones a try but once again Vanity Planet did not fail I really do feel like I've said in previous videos having 
a skincare tool amplifies your skincare and this is another one of these bad boys that amplify your skincare microdermabrasion is so 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 important to have it is along with like the exfoliating it's a little bit of like an exfoliator so you know it is really great to get in there with a little bit of suction and to remove like dead skins to help out with scarring and this just takes your skincare to another level it is a great at home um device you can have and i am so excited i got my hands on this bad boy i really cannot wait to use this more in my skincare and the other modes just seeing how this fully just worked for me um i am really excited about this piece as you guys know i don't have a lot of skincare tools but the ones that i do have by vanity planet i i like i'm happy to have and i know that i'm going to use them um and they're not going to just sit around you know what i mean so I really do suggest if you are into microdermabrasion, you want something that's going to exfoliate your skin, help out with scarring, fine lines, collagen protection, um, the Exforia is definitely for you. Keeping in mind your skin conditions and your skin type, if you have any of those skin conditions that we talked about, I do not suggest Exforia for you. If you're someone who doesn't have those skin conditions, this will work out great for you. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely leave a link to this product above, down below for you guys to go check out Exforia and get your hands on one yourself. Once again, this is a great tool to amplify your skin along with a solid skincare routine. You know, we talk about skincare routines always in my on my channel it's very important to have a skincare routine a skincare tool like the exforia is just one of those tools that help to amplify and push your skincare to the next level but with that being said you guys thank you so much for watching it's your girl Eunice marie be sure to rate comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i will see you in a later video